Hey, I'm on location down by the Palisades at an established neighborhood known as Montreux, and there's a small local builder that picked up this lot, and I'm gonna give you a number of reasons why you should be calling me, like, right away. We're on a corner, and we're at the base of a very cool little cul-de-sac. Jack's convertible is conspicuously parked out in front. First of all, if you could just really see the color on this, that's hard coat stucco, and look at the design. It's old world design, and wait till you see the insides. I'm going to take my time with this video because I've got the time and you ain't got nothing else to do anyway, right? So, first of all, it's on a lot that's well over an acre. Did I say well over an acre? I did. And just take a look at this. Looking down and looking over, no house right next to you. You've got one around the cul-de-sac, but look at the woods. Look at how pretty this is. And it's got a basement. So the lot is really large. House is priced at seven and a quarter. And I'm going to tell you in my world, it's so easy to go to a production builder and spend over 700 without blinking. Now again, things like this, I just got to point it out. The beautiful flagstone and the double door, just luxury. Oh, there's so many reasons to love this house. So this house caught my attention and I called the listing agent whose husband is the builder. Their last name is Axhoy. Chris Axhoy is the builder and a small local custom builder. And uh, first of all, if you're thinking, I see, look at the detail. I mean, look at the rounded windows. Just look at the trim, the casing. All the way through, guys, I'm gonna point this out about why this is such a cool house. And I would love to be your buyer's agent. Please don't call the listing agent. Uh, I wanna represent you with your best interest. So there is an eight foot door going down to a basement. First of all, look how it opens up and to the woods. I'm seeing this gleaming hardwood and what does that tell you? Well, these particular hardwoods are old school, nailed down, tongue and groove, three quarter inch, the kind you can refinish, not engineered hardwoods. This is like the old school real deal, guys. And I love that. Now again, the trim, the bank of windows, looking out to that lot and the way this house opens up. So you're looking at over 5,000 square feet four bedrooms, four full baths. And here's what I'm gonna tell you. What does that tell you, first of all? Does that tell you that they've got plenty of room in the bedrooms as well as plenty of other space to enjoy? And you talk about multi-generational, I'm gonna make my point on that because there is a second kitchen in the basement. Wait, what? I know. So 42 inch cabinets, exquisite crown, Things like appliances that, this is Thor, that are in a six burner. I mean, the money is there in the appliances. Oh my goodness, same with the dishwasher, Thor. Wow, big island. Do you like the, the, way, that this, the way that this looks? I do, the granite. Lots of things like the lighting. And I know I'm bouncing all over the place. I guess I can since I'm holding the camera. But just the design of this, the feel of this. So you've got what some would consider you know, a sitting room, uh, as well as a great room. Oh my, my, my. All right, well, let's just go on back and let's just do it so I don't miss anything. You got a, you have a really lovely, on the main level, of course, you've got a, uh, a powder room. It's not really a powder room, it's a full bath. So what does that mean? That means that your guests can use that. You can use it for everyday use, but if you have a long-term guest, that is spending the night there they have a full bath right at their disposal yeah now if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while you know that i often make a big deal about baseboard and if you're not a subscriber let's get that out of the way by hitting that and ringing the bell but see that is big beautiful luxurious baseboard and again custom builders do stuff like this putting the outlet right there in the baseboard instead of on the wall. See, that's again, that's custom. The floors are gleaming. Here's another thing, these doors, the interior doors, they're solid core. Most doors you, you're gonna find, uh, again, to compare with a production builder that's selling you a $700,000 house, they're gonna have hollow core doors. <clears throat> and so that costs a little extra money. And I guess this thing just feels coat closet right there. This puppy feels like it's just full of value. That's what it feels like to me. So just the, if you like excellence, now here's what I'm gonna make a pitch for right now. I get calls a lot, and again, thank you for making that phone ring. I do answer my phone. Uh, people saying, hey, I wanna buy a lot, and I wanna build my dream house. And my broker partner, Rodney Jones, and he's, he's sold lots and uh, custom homes, you know, multi-million dollar over the years. 
And Rodney always makes this statement. He says, why would anybody want to buy a lot and build a home when there are so many great houses available? And this is a case in point. Because again, you could go to certain builders, spend seven and a quarter without blinking. This goes out to the three car garage. Got a nice little vestibule going out there, side little garage. Now this is what's cool, look at this. One of these here, one of these right upstairs off the masters. Look at that. Plenty of room to sit out and enjoy and that's where Jack and I would be while the spaghetti is simmering. There is no doubt about that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. 1.16 acres. Now this hardcore uh, coach stucco, nothing to be concerned about. You know we had some problems years back with EFAS, the uh, synthetic, but that apparently has been solved as well. But this again is old school quality. Just again, take a look at it. Can you, can you see that, that texture? Oh yeah, the color is gorgeous. Eight foot door, right off of your great room. That's where my wife would know to look for me. Sitting right out there looking at those woods. Man, this is great. Windows up, room for furniture. Now we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna finish with the basement which is multi-generational to the core. Now again, congratulations, uh, Mr. Chris the Builder, for putting space like that uh, right there. So the Axoys do know what they're talking about. You know when I first walked into this house, the smell was like, oh my, this is a luxury house. It smells like a luxury house. It just reeks of it, it really does. So you got this dramatic two-story light up at the top. Just every morning you're coming down the stairs. Wow. And when, you, when I show you the multi-generational aspects of the basement, which you can do it, you can go one or two, of two ways. Again, space like that for furniture. So here we've got two bedrooms and a master. This is a Jack and Jill. But again, things like the trim, you know, that's, that's, that's hoity-toity trim. That's good stuff. And it just feels like luxury. And then they put things like these shelves. I often talk about this. Not that hard to do, but who does that? In a production house? No, not really. So you've got your, oh, that's a low tub. I like that. Jack and Jill. Yeah, everybody's got a sink and a nice closet right off of their bedroom. So again, right off this bedroom, you've got another nice closet. So that's two bedrooms. Beautiful paint on the wall. But did you notice that they, again, brought those tongue and groove hard, uh, hardwoods all the way upstairs? That's magnificent, really nice. In your laundry room, you got a, uh, a bowl and cabinets. Again, they've done all the little extras. I hope you hear me on that, all the little extras. Let's check out the master, and then we'll go down to the basement. Can't wait to show you the basement. Wow. You know, the backdrop of this lot, to me, just emphasizes what you got here, and you got a lot. Ain't that pretty? You're looking out at that from most every window. So this is a master to beat all masters. When I say you've got 5,000 square feet and four bedrooms, it could have been seven, but instead of that, they made your dream house a house that you would really, really get a lot of enjoyment out of. So you've got all that, which is huge, and then you've got the outdoors. We're going to take a peek at that. And then you've got all this extra space. What would you do with that? What would you do with that? Remind me to go outside. I want to go outside. I love that color. Oh, man. So much to love. We got a vault. Oh, my goodness. Look at that shower. It's huge. And the selections, kudos. Kudos to the designer. Now here's something that I haven't brought up yet, but this is important. So you want to build, uh oh, no wait, wait, are you ready for a closet? I want to talk about financing, but are you, are you, first of all, you got a barn door. A barn door, not, are you ready? This is what they call a closet. I know it looks like a bowling alley, doesn't it? What? Come on, you clothes hogs. I don't know if it's the woman or the man at your house, but somebody ought to be jumping up and down right now. And all this for seven and a quarter. That's what I'm saying. All this for seven and a quarter. And what did I say about looking out most every window and seeing some beautiful woods? Exactly. This is a closet, people. This looks like it's over the entire three-car garage and it's got a barn door. Built-ins, all the good stuff. So give me a call at 704. I'm not done yet, but I want to give you my number. 704. 
three, four, five, thirty, four hundred. I would love to be your buyer's agent. Remember the number on the sign, the listing agent. Uh, she represents the best interest of the seller. In fact, she and her husband uh, are the ones offering this house. He built it. She's the real estate agent. Wow. Again, a copy of the one right downstairs. And what did I say about everybody's got a view? Yeah, your mom and or dad might be down on that one. I'll show you that here in just about 90 seconds. Hey, mom. Dinner's almost ready. We'll meet you on the middle level. Oh my gosh. Talk about a walk in the woods. 1.16 acres. And this price is only 725. I'm telling you, in my world, you could spend that on a production house easy on a much smaller lot with not nearly as nice of finishes, not nearly as nice big deep tray. I mean, the hardwoods themselves spectacular so guys we've we've hit three bedrooms up we hit one bedroom on the main level that's four the basement doesn't have a bedroom but guess what i'm going to show you where you could put one and the reason i bring that up you know me i'm mr multi-generational and if you if your mom and dad are okay with stairs right now and you're relocating to charlotte because you got a job at bank of america or wells fargo or something else bring them on tell them hey we already have show them the video we have a house that you can have. This is wide here. And again, I'm looking at these really nice oak treads and man, the paint here is nice. And you know, this doesn't smell musty. It doesn't. So this again, get ready for the second kitchen. Again, you got a niche, you got space. 